Okay, so we're looking at the moon, or we were looking at the moon. It is uh, Saturday, the uh, 16th of uh, October 2021. It is Moon Observation Day, and uh, that was about it. Uh, I I've had similar glimpses of the moon. Uh, we're going to keep this short and we'll, we'll start another clip later when it looks like there's a gap in the clouds but essentially we've had a very cloudy weather I mean it looks black on the screen what I'm looking at is cloud it's basically grayish white you know I could actually see the cloud um, I suppose if I boosted the exposure on the uh, camera <clears throat> we might be able to see it but but uh, you know when the moon is actually in the image you want to have a lower oh I see a little gap in the cloud so I think if we just wait a little bit we'll see the moon again um, <clears throat> so let's see what happens but I, I see this gap coming along that should pass where the moon is so with any luck we'll get a glimpse of the moon again uh, I see some white on the cloud oh there we go what's that what's that oh yes very good so there it is and there it goes. <laughs> this is uh, Moon Observation Night in Montreal. I think it's National Moon Observation Night. I'm not sure if it's Canadian or American or both. Um, but so far, that's more or less the kind of thing I've seen. You know, earlier this evening I saw similar things. Um, but I didn't have the camera ready when it happened. Um, so... That's it. A uh, couple of glimpses of the moon there. I think I'm going to end this clip, keep it relatively short, put it up just for fun on YouTube. Uh, but I will try and get some more uh, images soon. I see uh, another gap coming along here that we might give us a brief glimpse of the moon. Oh yeah, I see it shining through a little bit there. Do you see it on the screen? Not so much. Okay, I can see this dim white thing, uh, but it's just not showing up in terms of the exposure on the camera sensor, even though it's a 6400 ISO, 40 of a second. It has to be F8 because, uh, well, it doesn't have to be F8, but the maximum opening on this 400 millimeter lens is 5.6, so it's one stop down. I could shoot wide open, but it's just not realistic. Oh, I see some clear sky above me in a gap between the clouds, uh, but I see a lot of cloud. Um, just wondering if I should just boost the exposure just to give an idea of what I'm seeing. To give an idea of what I'm seeing, it would be better to shoot with a wide angle or normal lens. Uh, but it's essentially a very cloudy sky, but the clouds moving quickly across the sky. This isn't like just thick overcast. It's it's uh, large clouds. I'm not, I'm not a meteorologist, but I'm guessing they're sort of cumulus something or other. Um, sort of puffy clouds but thick and a lot of them and they're close together there's very few gaps there's just little gaps here and there where if it happens to pass between the moon and the camera that I'll get a brief glimpse of the moon but uh, yeah that's it we've already yammered on here for more than four minutes so we're done for this clip again uh, moon observation night in Montreal uh, October 16th, uh, 2021. I will try to get some shots later. Oh, there it's coming through again. Oh, there it is. Okay, so we'll just move the camera over a little bit. Okay, we caught a very brief glimpse of it. Might be coming through again. Ah, come on, come on, come on. What do we got? What do we got? Okay, I can see, you know, that the cloud's a little backlit. It's just not picking it up in the camera exposure. Um, it's already at the, not the absolute highest ISO for this camera, 6400, but it's quite high. Um, it's the highest in terms of numbered ISOs. After that, uh, essentially, um, it goes to, you know, high and it gets 
quite grainy noisy um, and uh, so I try to avoid doing that try to keep it at uh, 6400 at the most um, but I prefer to be down around by well, actually love to be down around 100 <laughs> or two or four at the most uh, but sometimes you got to boost it up there and I you know prefer to be down around 8 to 1600 uh, but it's just not practical in terms of what we're looking at tonight so 6400 is quite high 40 of a second is a pretty low shutter speed and as I said f8 it's just one stop down from the maximum aperture so that's it for now